Uh, it fits the hole. It's tight up against that side, but by the time the hinges are on, the gap will be even both sides. That side I've planed. That side I've planed a bit of a leading edge on it, so as it swings, it's got clearance. I've also put a little bit on that side, on the hinge side, so it doesn't bind on the inside. Just need to trim a bit off the bottom. I've just marked the hinges at seven and nine to mark there. The legs next to it so to remind me to which side to go to. I'm just copying the same as this. So that's seven and nine. Seven and nine. That's what I'd put them at anyway. And that wind bag leaks. I've got four. I know that one of the other leaks, so that's two out of four that leak. I do like them, but I don't trust them. A little disappointed with them. So I've got my pencil mark there. Just transfer that. I'll line this up to my pencil mark. The little X telling me which side to go to. And then a little flush cutter. I've already set my depth, tested it on a piece of scrap. First cut I'll make is that way, just taking a sliver off there, just so the cutter's cutting in. Got on my little corner cut, so it's chisel time. I really don't recommend doing that with plunge saw. Could have quite quickly gone tits up, but it didn't. And now I can get that in. Right. So I've set me in bits out in the van, so I'm just trying to circle around the holes. Right, let me 
ignore it, windbags. I've got it hanging over there. I'll lean it back and I'll put that bottom screw in there. So I've got that bottom screw in. And then this one, you can swing into place. Just put two screws in, in case I've got to take it back off. Put another one in the top of it. Swing it. That's looking all right. I sanded this edge before I put the hinges on. Just need to give this a sand. Fit the catch. Right, a metre high. Three and a half, thirty-four, so seventeen. Big enough, so I need to just chop it square. You're better off creeping up to the edges, otherwise you'll split it down here. Right, it's got these little bits on the back here, so... Right, I've got a foot well for the leading edge that I put on here, but I know this one's pretty much flush. So that'll be there. And this one will be slightly back. Not pretty, but I've seen worse, done worse. Uh, once those bolt ones went through, those long ones went through, and I was happy that it was straight. 
two little screws go on either side. It's a little bit of play in it, but it's going to get painted. Let's see what it's like there after that. Now it's time to fit the glass. Just taking those beads out, the ones that I just dry fitted, pull all the pins out, run my finger around, make sure there's nothing in the way. I stood the glass in just to make sure it fits. That's laminated glass, it's the same as this. It's got a little kite mark up here. I'm going to put silicone around that bead, that's the glued in bead. Stand the glass in, put a few pins in. All right, forgot to bring smaller pins. Just put some of these big ones in again. Just hold the bead in place. We'll take them out, change them later. Any excess silicone, I'll leave to dry, and then I'll just cut with a knife and peel off like a rubber band. That'll do for now.